Now we wait for Mr. Phase Rug. Here he is. Oh no, a camera at my face when you pull up out of nowhere. What's happening? Hey, we're low key twinning. My twinning them. <laughs> so. Oh, Noah! Good, bro. bro doesn't acknowledge Noah, bro. <laughs> I didn't see him. It's because I don't have a backwards Nike yet. That's yeah, no, no, it's because I was like, just like flattered by Brian's beauty that I completely missed Noah. But anyways, Brian, I heard you had some big news for us today. I heard something really, really big is going on in your life. So bro, you want to tell us? Guys, I've been working on a candy brand for the past year, and it finally launched, and we're starting with something crazy. So you have your own candy? I do. So you're a founder of a company? My first ever company. Hey, first Dude. of all, congrats, crazy. bro. So we were trying to figure out what the best thing to start with was, and it's like, we don't want to just drop a regular candy that people eat and just... What the heck, bro? <laughs> he didn't move. No, good. Yeah, we're just, <laughs> we're lit like that. I didn't want to drop with something like just a regular candy that people eat. We want to like make it all about an experience. And you know, in my videos, we do challenges. We yeah. do all these like crazy things. So I'm like, let's do a sour gummy challenge. The one up sour challenge. Okay, well enough talking. Where's the product? Okay, wait here. Okay, bro, that's crazy. My brother is the owner of a freaking company. Like, you know, it's intense, right? The challenge? Yeah, it's actually like crazy. Oh my God. It's well, really sour. I mean, anything that's created by this guy, if you watch his YouTube videos, then you know anything he does is crazy, intense, psychotic. psychotic. If it's up to him, it's gonna be crazy. So let's <laughs> see it, Brian. All right, boom. This is the packaging right here. Ooh, can we get a close up, please? So it's One Up. That's the name? One Up. Yep. One OneUpCandy.com. Up. Hey. So when you open it up, this is what you're gonna see. This is for you to see as well. So you and the viewers. So what the heck? it comes with the actual sour gummies right here. And it comes with two neutralizer packets. These are really important for this challenge. Is that you in here? Yeah. Wait, that's my brother. Uh -huh. like. That's what happens when you eat this candy, bro. So my face is going to rip apart. Well, listen, listen, oh. I'm going to explain how you're going to do this challenge. And I want to see if you're going to succeed. Okay. So first step is you're going to mix these in a water bottle, right? Okay. Leave it off to the side. So you'll mix it, shake the bottle and set it off to the side. Okay. And the challenge is you guys are going to pop three gummies into your mouth and then you're going to suck on them. Suck the hell out of the gummies. That's Can you give us an example. <laughs> okay. Let me practice. Like that. Okay, not like that. Don't oh. move your head back and Oh, forth. you don't move your head? Oh, 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 sorry, sorry. You're too good at that. <laughs> Where do you think I've been practicing? I'm joking. What the hell? So we have to put three in our mouth. And then you actually literally suck them for 30 seconds. So don't chew it. Don't chew it. You suck them for 30 seconds. That's how you get the most intensity of sourness. Bro, leave it up to my brother to create a candy that you can't just sit back and eat while you're watching a movie or watching some basketball, but leave it up to him to turn it into a challenge. Well, we're just starting off with a bang. The whole objective is to try not to make a face. Like anything like that, your sour face, then you lose. But if you last the 30 seconds, you win. If you could suck on the candy for 30 seconds and not make a face, then you're a winner? Yep. Okay, so where does this packet and water bottle come into play? Well, you're gonna wanna have this already ready and set aside before you do the challenge so you can easily access it. So take a sip. Bro, I like this. It makes eating candy fun. He took the words out of my mouth. That's literally the whole point of this. We yeah. want to create experiences for people. So this is the neutralizer. Do I pour the whole thing in here? Yeah, yeah pour the whole thing. Okay. Dude, this is literally made to take the sourness out of your mouth. It tastes really good. So you drink this after you suck on the candy for 30 seconds? Yeah, and it's supposed to get the sourness out of your mouth. It's literally like magic potion. Okay, bro. I don't want to take up any more of your time. I'm sure you're busy. So I'm, I'm sure, sure you busy. You busy. Yeah, you're busy. I'm sure you busy. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm sure you're busy. Like you just launched your own company, so I'm sure you're getting a lot of texts and you just have a busy schedule. So I'm gonna let you do your thing. All right, bro. Congrats, by the way. That's Thank actually you. freaking crazy. That's lit. My brother has his own company, so show some love to it. One up. Thank you. And me and Dennis are gonna go attempt this challenge. Okay. Good luck, guys. Do you think either of us are gonna pass or two fails? Two fails. Really? I think so. Bro, I'm your brother. You don't have no confidence in me? I mean, you like sour candy, but I don't think you can handle this. Okay, all right. I feel like you're going to pass it for some reason. You think you, I'm going to pass you it? You eat like breakfast, lunch, and dinner sour candy. Time. He knows. That's for you. He knows. Thank you. Hey, no, just for having trust me, I won't let you down. Right. <laughs> I'm not going to make a face. I won't let him down. All right, good luck, guys. Okay, Dennis, so we got our one-up candy packet right here, and you're the lucky contestant that I chose to do this challenge with me. Bro, I would say thank you and I want to, but I'm nervous AF. I'm nervous too, bro. Like, just growing up with my brother and knowing Brian for my whole life, because I am his older brother, when Brian puts his mind to something, when FaZe Rug does something, it, it's, it's always just... 
it's top of the line. He never half asses anything. If my brother puts his mind that he wants to make a crazy sour challenge, yeah. it's gonna be crazy sour. He ain't average. Okay, so we're gonna open this. Keep in mind, me and Dennis have never tried this, so. Oh, what the heck? But look, guys, so we're gonna get it. Bro, it looks just like regular candy. It doesn't even look that sour, but sometimes looks could be deceiving. So, Dennis, you grab three and I grab three. Bro, I'm scared. I know, me too, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Usually I get excited to eat candy, but now I'm nervous. So guys, I guess this right here, I've never seen or heard of anything like this. I guess if this challenge is too sour for you, then apparently if you drink this water neutralizer, it makes all the sourness go away like that. Do you believe that? I mean... I don't really believe it, but then again, I don't think my brother would lie to us. But I think we'll find out. Okay, we'll find out, we'll find out. So Dennis, we are about to attempt the one-up challenge for the first time. Three, two, one. Oh shit. I lost. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> Bro. Bro, this is sour. My eyes are spread out. <laughs> this is so sour. Oh my. I pray this works. I need Bro. it. Bro, it worked? Try it. Bro. What the hell? All the sourness is gone. I'm so fat. I did it with the candy still in my mouth so I can still eat it after. <laughs> Wait, what in the black magic is this? Dude. Literally five seconds ago, I was dying. And now I feel completely normal. What the hell is this? Hey, I'll tell you one thing. What, it looks like something? No, I was thinking that the I respect this. Think about it. When you get like the one chip challenge, they throw that challenge at you and they're just like, deal with it. You just gotta suffer. This, at least they're thinking about you after. That's true. You know what? That's a good point. You'll be doing the one chip challenge or, or the, the spicy gum challenge and they just make you eat it. You suffer. But at least FaZe Rug has a heart and he gives you something that makes you feel better after his challenge. <laughs> I feel like my brother is inventing a new way to eat candy and just have fun with it and turn it into a challenge. Hey, let's be honest. When you eat candy, you get fat, you get cavities, and it's not healthy for you. Trust me, I know. At least this way, you're eating the candy, the one up. You're still going to get fat, get cavities, and it's not healthy for you. But at least, fun. at least you're having fun doing it. You feel me? So, All right, guys. So we just pulled up to the grocery store. And if you guys are wondering why we're here, follow me and I'll explain inside. Okay guys, so we have Brian's one-up candy right here. Just a reminder what it looks like so I could explain what we're doing. You guys remember, this is what the candy looked like. Sour cubes. So I came to the store right now because we are gonna test Phase Rug and see how well does he know his own candy. So our goal for today, the reason I came into this store, I'm gonna try to find a candy that is identical to Phase Rug's new one up, and we're gonna give Brian that candy that we find over here, and we're gonna see how well my brother knows his own product. Okay guys, so after looking through some candy, I think I found one that looks pretty similar to FaZe Rug's new 1UP. So look at this. Over here we got Warheads Cubes. Here's what they look like on the wrapper and look. Okay, let's get one of Brian's candies and look. You can't tell me that Brian's candy, bro, look at this. Brian's candy looks identical to these sour cubes. So we're gonna buy these Warheads, put them in FaZe Rug's 1UP packaging, give it to Rug and see if he could spot the difference between random candy and his own product. Brian, I'm about to test you. How well do you know your own brand? Okay guys, so we just made the purchase and it's time to see how similar these actually look to FaZe Rug's new candy. Oh my God, bro. Are you serious right now? <laughs> look, bro. So this is the Warheads we just bought. Now look. That's Rugs new candy. Bro, do you think Brian's gonna be able to tell the difference? There's no way. Maybe when he puts it in his mouth and tries it, then he'll know the difference. But bro, I don't know if he'll be able to tell the difference by looking. Bro, what? Now it's time to replace all of FaZe Rugs candy with the Warhead. All right, guys. So we just arrived back at Rugs' house. And I'm gonna put these away so he doesn't see these. We got all the warheads in here. And like I said, baby, it's time to see how well FaZe Rug knows his own product and if he'll be able to know that we replaced them. All right, Brian, so it's only fair. This is your challenge. How do you expect me and Dennis to do it and you don't do it? Bro, I'm gonna fail for sure. Really? I still haven't succeeded. I feel like this is the day you're finally gonna succeed your challenge. I'll actually try my hardest, but it's like, it's hard to just 
Keep the gummies in my mouth. No, but know? I honestly feel it in you. Bro, you're like the Suns. They always succeed and they win and they do it every time. You know what I mean? So I, no, that's not a thing for sure. You guys always choke. You choked the finals in 2021. You choked the second round in 2022. You choked in 2023 in the second round. Like you can't even get to the conference finals anymore. I don't even know what to say. Like I said, today's the day that you pass the challenge. And how about this? I'll do it with you. As, I, as expected. Okay, so for starters, you already know the deal. Neutralizer in your water. Step one, baby. Bro, this neutralizer thing was crazy when I did it earlier. Wait, hold on. Wait, I forgot to ask. Did you fail? Oh, bro, there was not a chance I was going to pass this challenge. Dennis, what about you? Not a chance. Bro. You guys both failed? It was bro. so freaking sour. I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you. Like, I thought toxic waste or warheads were... Oh, wait. I didn't drink any of them. <laughs> Whatever. Dude. You know what, guys? We already went over the rules of the challenge earlier in the you video. You already know. Keep a straight face, 30 seconds. We got no time to waste. Brian, open your mouth. Wait, are you gonna do it with me too? I will, I swear. Okay, I promise okay. you. Here, here, I'll do mine first. How about that? Yeah, you do yours first and then... Okay, okay guys. Three cubes. I got my three here. Okay, Brian. Ready, ready. set? Whoa. Okay. Oh, I failed. What? How did you not fail? Oh, shoot. Wait. How are you doing it? You said you've never done it. What? Wait. There's no way, bro. This isn't even sour. What do you mean? I just spit mine out. Bro. Bro. Did you just pass your challenge? Why are mine pink? <laughs> bro. <laughs> are you out of your mind? Wait, why are yours pink and then mine was red? Bro. What did you put in there? Why, why, okay, I was wondering why you're pouring it in my mouth and I didn't put it in the palm of my hands like a normal person. That wasn't even sour. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we got Warheads Cube. You're already putting my competitor against me, bro? Bro, <laughs> I literally just wanted to see how well you knew your brand. And you knew it right away. You were right away, you were like, wait, what the heck? This isn't even sour. Well, guys, we tried to prank Rug, we failed. That's it. Rug knows his brand. I do. Yes, as sir. I should. As I should. After all the testing, I know it for sure. Okay, bro. So before I go home, I just want to wish you luck with everything. All right. Thank you, bro. Thank you. You know, me. this. Hey, that was a good. Hey, good little clap. Come on. Now, but bro, come on. Starting your own company is it's not a small deal. So I hope you know you did something big. I'm Thank proud you, of bro. you. Thank you. I wish nothing but the best for One Up. All you guys, go show your support. Get some One Up and just good luck with everything, Thank you, bro. bro. I'm just excited to see everyone's reaction. Like it's fun. I want to see if they can complete the challenge. It's fun, bro. I feel like you invented a new way to eat candy, dude, and make it fun. That's what we were going for. Trust me. All right, Brian. I'll see you, bro. All right, peace, bro. Yeah, peace. And that is a wrap. Oh my God, wait, bro. Are we dumb? We completely forgot the whole title and thumbnail of this video. Bro, did you forget what we did earlier today and now we forgot to do, bro. Bro, 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 okay, 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 hold on, guys. Sorry, everybody probably clicked on this video for the title and thumbnail, and we never even got into it. So, I hope all you guys are still watching this video, because what you're about to see is the moment all you guys were waiting for. So, earlier in the day, I was in my office, and I typed up a fake contract that would make FaZe Rug sell a part of his candy company to me. That contract reads something like, I, Brian Awadis, aka FaZe Rug, agree to sell 50% of 1UP Candy to Brandon Awadis. After working on my computer for a little bit, I got the that fake contract ready and printed out. But then I started thinking to myself, FaZe Rug would not willingly sign a paper that transfers me half of his new company, so I had to get sneaky. I then decided to make a fake petition from the Phoenix Suns to sign me to a 10-day contract for next season. I know FaZe Rug would sign this petition because he's such a supportive brother. And by placing that Phoenix Suns petition over the fake one-up candy contract, boom, that's how we will get FaZe Rug to transfer me 50% of his new candy company. Follow me? And let's go see if this works, guys. Okay, guys, so we're at Rug's house. We got the two papers right here, and look. Um, so I got my fake one-up contract right here that I already signed, but it's missing FaZe Rug's signature up top. And then I have my Phoenix Suns petition. Just to make this a little more realistic, I'm gonna add some more signatures to this. Um, we could get a mama rug signature so brian believes that my mom signed it obviously mama rug would be supportive of her son playing in the nba we could get a oh my girlfriend jasmine signature um and then yeah now you place this paper on top of this one and you are going to get phase rug to sign right here and transfer me 50 percent of his freaking new candy company guys 
Yo, Brian. Yeah. I forgot to tell you some. Hold on, I'll come to you. What? So I know I said I was leaving after we did the one up challenge, but bro, you won't believe this. So I'm doing a petition for the Suns to give me a 10 day contract, and I'm trying to get as many signatures as I could. I already got my mom, Jasmine, Amanda. Bro, can you please just sign it? Imagine if the Suns give me a 10 day contract. Yeah. Please, Dude, what bro. the heck? Just right there. Petition for Phoenix Suns to give Brandon a water. It's a 10 day contract. Bro, wouldn't that, would you come to my game? Bro, I think you'd score zero points and have 10 turnovers. Really? Yeah. Well, I'm glad you were mean because I'll have you know that you actually just signed to give me 50% of bro. your new candy bro. company. Bro. I already signed right here. We got your signature. We got bro, perfect. What we got are perfect you saying, edits. bro? And wait, wait. Hey, hold on. The last <laughs> one. I'd like to have you know one signed, this agreement is final. So, bro, bro. we getting rich, baby. Dude, get out, out of my house. We getting rich, baby. Get out of my house. We we rich, baby. Give me a hug. Get out. We made it. We made it in life. Us brothers, we made it in this world, fam. We gotta be rich. It's not happening. 50 50 on a new company? Wait, did you just rip it? It's not happening. Okay, hold on, hold on. Sorry, sorry, sorry. We can meet somewhere in the middle. 49.999% mine and 50.1% yours. Deal? The door's that way, bucko. Okay. Well, um, maybe the Suns will give me a 10-day contract. Peace out, bro. Peace.